Hello, Brenton with Wallet Octane here, and in this video, I am going to open up some of the brand new Matchbox cards I was able to find on the pegs. I am missing a few, but I wanted to make sure I got this video out to you guys sooner rather than later. So I'm going to go ahead and open these, and I know the newer mix is also out, so I'm going to be hunting those down as well, but they haven't hit my area, so I am going to just open what I've got. All right, first up is this amp truck. We've got the express delivery on this other side here. And I think we've seen this with a NASA livery before. I could be wrong. It does not have an opening part, just simply the truck. But I kind of like it because it has recording sound lab and custom digital electronics installations. I'm a big electronics person. I like sound equipment and stuff like that. So this is a cool kind of truck to have and add to the collection. Next up, we've got the Ridge Raider. And this is, uh, it's a pretty cool car, pretty cool casting. I believe this is a fantasy casting. It's got some nice tampos on the sides. So there we go. Ah, the Lion Brothers. We've definitely seen that before. I believe that's also been on one of the heavy duty wreckers as well, way back in the day. You kind of see on the side there. It's a pretty cool casting and it does have a hitch, which is also nice. That fits this next one very well. We have the trailer trawler. So we have trailer trawler. There's the card art on that one. And it probably will fit that Ridge Racer, or I'm sorry, Ridge Raider very well. Uh, again, if you find one of these, you can take the canoe off and you could switch it, or I'm sorry, this is not a canoe, the boat. You could take the boat off and if you have one of the vehicles with a canoe or something else, you can put that on top of here. And again, this has a hitch mount. So if you do have a vehicle with a hitch, you can take it just as such. Oops, there we go. And you would be able to pull it. And I don't know, this looks a little low, but it should work. Um, here, let's see really quick. Does it work? Yeah, it does. Works very nicely. And actually, you can kind of see into the top of this one. So this one actually has some space. Not quite sure what it's for, but it's pretty cool. So you can stick extra gear in there, I guess. Nice. All right, let's move on to the... Chevy Caprice Classic, and this has a, I'm not quite sure which one, RCMP, Royal Canadian Mountain Police. That's what that'll be then. So many acronyms. All right, there we go. I kind of wonder if Hot Wheels will do a Caprice. We've already got the Impala, so I wonder if it'll be vice versa. I wonder if uh, either Matchbox will do the Impala or Hot Wheels will do the Caprice. Which one do you guys think would happen? Or do you think they just won't? They'll just stick to each brand having their own. And actually, I just recently watched a video where it describes the rear windows here are different on the Impala versus the Caprice. So if you're trying to make a Caprice and Impala, they change out these, uh, these what is it, ABC pillars kind of here. And they can you can disguise it in real life as a uh, Impala. So that's always one trick to the custom car customizing world. Next up, we have the Polaris Razor. This thing is really pretty cool. Um, I've got to drive one out. Yeah, or something very similar to a Polaris Razor. Uh, not too, too terribly long ago, a couple of years ago, and they are a blast. So if you ever get an opportunity to drive one of these things, take it. They are fantastic. Super fun. Pretty much indestructible. Uh, you probably see them on YouTube all the time if you're a car enthusiast like myself. I'm watching a lot of Cletus McFarland and other YouTubers who have these things, and they are an absolute riot. So if you get to drive one, take it. I like the blue around the rim, so that's pretty cool. Next up, we've got the Volkswagen Beetle, and this is a taxi fast on time. That kind of makes sense. I believe in Mexico City, these things are, or one of the cities in Mexico, I believe these are very, very uh, useful. There's tons of them. I remember reading about that a long time ago. Actually, maybe even in high school, I read about that. And there's just like an entire city that has hundreds of these things as taxis. I'll have to look that up. But yeah, Volkswagen taxi. And this one also has a hitch. So that'll be fun. You can tow the uh, tow one of the trailers with that one. Speaking of hitches, this one has a hitch as well. We've got the MBX field car. 
kind of looks like a Ford Bronco, kind of looks like a Volkswagen thing, kind of looks like a Jeep uh, Grand Wagoneer, kind of looks like a Mitsubishi something, like or a Montero. It's, it's got a bunch. It doesn't have a B pillar, which is kind of unique. That might be what what makes it kind of the proportions a little different. So there's the side of it. I like the color though. The orange is fantastic. It's got a nice sunroof. Uh, for a fantasy casting, this thing is actually pretty cool. It's got a winch up front and a hitch in the back. So MBX fill car is not a bad casting. I'm kind of curious to see how they'll recolor, recolor it and what tampos they will put it in. We've got the 2019 Jeep Renegade and we've seen this in green before. Now we've got it in red. And can't go really wrong with the Jeep Renegade. I think at this point, I would go with the Ford Bronco Sport in real life, though. The Renegade has kind of just been relegated to the bench in my book. But as far as diecast goes, I'll pick one up. I think they're pretty cool. I like the five-spoke rims. That's probably like the best part. All right, next up we have the 32 Ford Pickup Swap Meat Special. I highly doubt these will end up at a lot of swap meets. Actually, no, I, I take that back. These will end up in real life swap meets for sure because people just buy these things up. The proportions on this one are kind of cool. You can kind of almost see that it is uh, the rake on it. There's like an actual bend to the car. Um, so it doesn't actually sit flat. It does kind of sit up, but the car does roll. It's pretty unique. They did really well with this casting. We've seen it a couple times before. It's always nice to see it again. Oh, and there's blue on the other side. What do you know? Look at that. That is awesome. It's got a flat head in there. Yeah, it's got a flat head. That is really pretty cool. That Well done on that casting matchbox. Well done. All right, next up, we've got the 2015 Ford F-150 contractor truck. And, well, I am a fan of contractor trucks. I really like the Ram Tradesman. I really wish... Matchbox or Hot Wheels would just come up with plain, normal trucks. I feel like that's what a lot of people want in real life. And I feel like sometimes in die casts, that's kind of just what you want anyway. Uh, this one does have the kind of like uh, ladder racks, so to speak. This is Sunny Solar. I would imagine this is to install solar panels and or solar panel electricity for like a Tesla. Because we do know that Matchbox has a Tesla. So this would probably show up to your house and install solar panels or a tesla roof for your house because we all know that that's contracted i don't think tesla does that in house all right so now we're getting to some more of the license casting some of the premier castings uh we've got a 1961 ford ranchero sorry about that there it goes and focuses and this is nice creamy brown in the bed i don't know if the interior is like that but the base is a different color I really like this blue though. It fits very well with the, with the car. So the base is different. The interior is brown. That's cool. Kind of like a light uh, off-white base. Very nice vehicle. You can't go wrong with that. Well, I believe we've seen this a couple times. I think with the, the launch color I think was in white. It's got a rear tampo with Ford. Nice taillights there. Good stuff. All right, let's move to the another Ford product. We've got a 2016 Ford Mustang convertible, or I'm sorry, 18? 18 Ford Mustang convertible. That's right, different headlights. All right, we'll open this one up, and here we go. We've seen this a number of times. I really don't complain about Mustangs. This is a Mustang convertible. It's a nice vehicle. Nice headlights and the tampos up there. And we've got the, of course, triple tail light tampos can't go wrong with that either it's got the gt so this is gonna be i think well no yeah gt should have a 5.0 there we go nice detailed interior my wife's dream car she was she had a, a red mustang convertible that's the goal someday to get a red mustang convertible now we've got a bentley bentega this thing is highly uh anticipated so it's nice to kind of see this in the main line hopefully some at some point somebody does a rolls royce, royce cullinan and we've got the lamborghini urus by hot wheels so that's that's kind of nice but here is the bentega and i believe top gear america did a 
had a Bentega almost the similar color. I don't think it had the same spec. Well, yeah, it would. It would have the sunroof. I believe they all have a sunroof. But yeah, they had a blue Bentley Bentega in their uh, winter off-road episode. And that was pretty cool. That was highly entertaining. All of them got stuck. There we go. The Bentley. This thing is stunning. And there you go. There's the base on it. Hard to believe it's already three years old because it's a 2018 Bentley Bentega. So the Bentega's been out for three years now. Absolutely amazing. It's a great casting. I'm glad they made it. Next up, we have the 2020 Audi TT RS Coupe. And I don't think... I know they've... I know... Uh, no, I don't... Yes, somebody made a TT at one point. But this blue is really cool. Look at those five-spoke rims. They've got Tampos in the rear. There is the TTRS logo in the back. No plates on it. It's got the Audi symbol and the the bridge kind of tail light. And then here's the front with the Tampos up front. Nice headlights and the Audi logo there as well. Stunning casting, great color. Last up, um, other than the Bentega and the 32 Ford, this would probably be my favorite. I don't know why. It's just really cool looking. A 1970 Ford Capri. And there's the card art on it. It just, it looks really cool. Maybe the stripes, maybe the silver. I really like silver cars. Kind of boring sometimes, I understand. Oh, but, and then the headlights. Yeah, this thing is muscular. It's awesome. No, no rear tampos. Just kind of the top tampos with the two stripes and here on the sides. And then the front tampos has got the headlight and the grill. And that aggressive look just makes the casting. So there you go. Oh, and it's got a blue windshield rather than clear. That's not too bad. Gray interior. So there you go. There are some of the new Matchbox cars that I was able to find on the pegs. Have you been able to find them on the pegs? If you have, let me know in the comments below. And until the next one, have a good one.